We take you behind the scenes at an army center of mechanization to see British tanks receiving final tests before leaving on their long and difficult journey to Russia. What you will see is but a fraction of the numbers of armored fighting vehicles which are leaving these islands to participate in the great battles which rage on the Russian front. The sealing of all doors, apertures, cracks and armament is undergone to ensure complete insulation against the deteriorating effects of seawater, humidity and climatic conditions during the sea voyage. Instructions in Russian are painted as a precaution against damage to fittings during unloading operations. Every care is taken to deliver the tanks in perfect condition. These monsters taking their place in the long wagon convoy have been made completely water and airtight. As a dehumidifying agent, bags of soda lime are hung inside the fighting chambers and driver's compartments. Here is a strong answer to those critics who would belittle our help to the Soviet. Twice as many tanks are coming off the production lines as six months ago, and five times as many as when we started our great building program after Dunkirk. From depot to wagon, from wagon to ship, from ship to a Russian port, and then into the hands of Red Army men who know well how to use them. <laughs> 